people should know that why I'm sweating because I'm performing just. <laughs> Olaf, Olaf Rodriguez. Yes, Olaf. People Olaf. call me Olaf. as Olaf. Stage How many years in music? So now more than 35 years. 35. But my mother was telling me since I was uh, born and I was in her womb, so I was I started kicking. dancing. Yeah, I started kicking. So I think uh, it was much before that. You have carved quite a niche, Olaf, in Konkani original. What are the challenges? Challenge because it's very difficult nowadays at least. Before we did, I got good music directors like Chris Perry. You played uh, with him? I, uh, I did his shows because I was the winner of Chris Perry's Talent Search Contest. 90s? Uh, 1990. Really? Yeah. And also Alfred Rose. I see. Yeah, I was winner of Alfred Rose. So I'm lucky to So your arrival the was on the end of their, of their career yeah, virtually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Chris Perry told me like, okay, uh, I don't have much strength in my body. Sorry, I don't sorry. Have, Chris Perry said, I don't have much strength. Yes. Um, so this, I would have taken you to Bollywood. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah, I would have taken you to Bollywood, I but see. I, I, I can't do anything because my health doesn't do it because he had Parkinson's. That was in the 90s, mid 90s. Yeah, 90, yeah, 90s. After 90s, 1991. 98, it was 98. Sorry, 98. 2000, I came out with an album. You were how old at that time? I don't even remember my age that time because I was more into songs. So Chris, uh, Chris was a big encouragement to you? Yeah, because Chris Mary organized the talent search contest and there were at least 250 participants from which he selected only five and all five performed live. I was the only one from the south I see. and so I won the competition. So after that, as promised, he made an album. We'll just, this is interesting, we'll just walk. Because there's a lot of noise and tomorrow people will say, why Why did you take such a ah, noisy okay, background? We can restart it, right? No, no, no. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Because here now they'll start the music. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll walk that one, side. One, one, two, three. Cheers, three, cheers. So this was 98, you said? Uh, yeah, 98. I see. Uh, oh, you're my favorite. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> the series we have taken. Uh, amazing. Uh, you're the best. Thank you. Keep listening to Sorry, 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 sorry. He's allowed, he's allowed me to be his cashier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. Hello. It's hard work to keep this. Uh, to keep this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's really hard work. Yeah. To keep this. Uh, to keep this current, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, to to stay in the field and to and to somehow. Uh, so so you remember '98? You're saying Chris Perry's. Uh, Chris Perry's talent search. Talent search, yeah. Who were the others who won it? Uh, others were like. Uh, one, now she's a doctor. Kondre. Uh, Sharon Montero from... I see. Okay. Montero's from... Uh, Kandoli? Panjim. Panjim. I think they're originally from Kandoli. Amazing. So all three... Can from. we sit here? Can we sit here if it's quiet? Yeah. Amazing, yeah. I have to stand or sit? Whatever you prefer. Okay, I'll sit like this. Yeah. It's comfortable, but... Yeah, 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 whatever it is. So, okay. so this is fascinating. You, you've been keeping it going for 35 years. Yeah, and uh, after I won the competition, Chris Perry started training me. I he started see. calling me home. He was He's, an amazing guy, no? Yeah, amazing guy. And like, uh, uh, he never charged me anything. Wow. Except some uh, bor borum, para, because he said he missed all that during his childhood days. When he was in Bombay? Yeah, when he was in Bombay. So, so I'm not charging anything. See, I'm teaching you free. But bring me one papaya. Next day, Boram. All From Chinchini to Margao, you Chinchini go? Chinchini to Margao, yeah. Borda? Uh, yeah, he was staying in Margao. Yeah. And, but he was very much into music, you know. Uh, he didn't want any disturbance. One day, I, I was going to work that time, so I used to park my bike, keep yeah. my bike at his entrance. So I parked and there's a window, glass window. 
which was there. So I started disturbing him because he used to shout at me, but he used to love me also because I got to know this from others. Very, very nice man. What? Irritating me, but I love that. That's, so I came to know that he loves when I irritate. So I started purposely started irritating him. I knocked on the glass window. He said, "Who's that?" I said, uh, "One beggar has come. Please give me something. Baba, no, nothing is there to eat. What should I do?" Who's that? Okay, now he's getting irritated. He's missing those lines also, which he got. Nice composition. Now, then he opened the door. You, you irritated me. You're irritating me. I missed what I, whatever came to my head is gone now. Get out. The next day's evening, he's calling me. What time you're coming now? <laughs> no phones. He, no phones. Nothing in no those phones, days. No, no phones. Then he started calling me. He, is, he made me wear his shirt. One day he'll become big. So that time I'll point out this is my shirt which he's wearing. And he used to make fun of me. Then we used to go on my bike. We used to roam uh, Longinos and all. I see. So we used to go there. Sit. He was an amazing guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and he, he had that ability to create nurture others. Great. And he did this album because he mm -hmm. promised the winner of the contest yeah. will get a chance to sing in his next album, ah. upcoming album. So uh, that album was Poilo Kiss. I so see. my pro first professional album. Poilo album is Poilo Kiss. Okay, he titled is Poilo Kiss and he gave me five songs. Five songs. Five songs to sing in that album. And uh, he made me uh, uh, sing all ten. Wow. Because he made, uh, because if somebody is not coming, you have to be prepared for this song. And he sang one song in that, Liliana. And he dedicated it Liliana. to his wife. And he said, if I'm not comfortable in the studio, you be careful and you just practice and be ready. So he was having a lot of faith then. He said, now we have to take shows, we have to make you popular. He's telling But I was scared to go yeah. on the stage and perform like, like comedy songs he's giving me. I and I said, I don't like these comedy songs. Just come behind, like Herald show we did, Herald Fest. Then we did one in Mapsa. And the last show of Chris Perry's was in Chinchini, my village. Because he told me to organize. You which organize? Year, which year? Uh, that was 20 years back. 20 years and uh, it was organized by CRC Chinchini Club. Yeah, I've heard of CRC. Yeah, they organized it. And I was like the coordinator between both of them. So they organized and uh, that was the last show. After that, he never performed live on the stage. Uh, and uh, he made me like, sit now. I want to see how you're eating. Suppose if you go abroad, they will even say, a great singer is come. And uh, let's see how he's eating. He used to make me uh, focus, focus, eat and tell his wife like, Lily, Olaf is come. Just fry one omelette for us. And we used to go on deciding what songs. Even every song from the album Poilo Kiss was written by me. By me means I wrote the song I because see. he could not he write. So he was dictating. Yeah, he was dictating every song. Each he and was every a good line. lyricist also. Good lyricist. So all the songs uh, his. I see. After that, I started composing or whatever. And a good After musician, got, great musician also. Yeah, great musician. After that, I got Jokim Disosa from Mandre. So we did that Poilo Kiss album. Uh, uh, sorry, Kor Kantar album. Mandre people are somehow good composers somehow good. and yeah, lyricists. Yeah, Manuel Disosa's brother. I see. He's been doing Manuel Disosa. I see, yeah, yeah. So he gave me all shortcut methods, like all new methods. And it was like these two people. You work very hard, no? Yeah, I work very hard. Even recently, I have released one album, uh, Washe. I saw Ashia that lovely, so. lovely, yeah, that was like lovely, pro I lovely publicity. For the last last uh, three months I was researching, I was going through the washer car, I was sitting with them, and I was saying, What is this word you're using? I didn't know any word. After I wrote down, This is Kovari. Okay, why it is then? This is like Gorn, not Don. So every word, then I There's started. There's a full vocabulary dealing yeah, with, this, yeah. with this specialization. Then I wrote the song again, I went there. The morning, and you know, the washer car, they work and they get tired. Which area? Which area? Uh, Varka, Benauli. Bulwa. I see. All three. Some of them I missed because they didn't know why I was coming. Songs, songs, I we don't want songs. Sundays and all. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nice. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah, I think I think you should have one. Nare, nare, don't worry, don't no, worry. No, no, don't worry. Yeah. Will, because you need you need strength to hold the camera. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> so after that, now these are the songs uh, which I started composing because I was not composing because I was getting ready-made songs. Chris Berry was giving me like I even had jokes. But what you're doing is a great thing because all of there's so little originality in Goan music, unfortunately. Now, would you agree? And I'm yeah. Konkani and English Kon now. Konkani and we English. We are good at we are good at doing covers, so so we think that that's enough. But no, I also do covers because when I perform, 70% I do my originals. So some covers, even Michael Jackson used to do covers. Elvis Presley used to do covers. Covers so are not bad, but it has to be a mix. It has, yeah, a mix it has to be a mix. But more should be yours, like original songs. How many songs have you composed so far? Any list? Me. 
I started composing uh, when I was young and I was doing shows. I was organize, I was making people organize shows because I wanted to sing in the shows. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I opportunity, the opportunity. Yeah, I used to go to the band. Uh, uh, can I sing one or two songs? Uh, and they used to get scared. Then I said, I will organize the show. I am, I am, I was organizing only for me to get a chance so to sing. So how many would you have written? Do you have any uh, track of it? Maybe at least 25. All are not popular. Yeah. But before one album, they was, will get. They will get with time. Right. No, those are gone. Those are the old songs. Now these songs are getting popular because this is this is like a lost glory. We can say like Washekar. Nobody thought of it. So. Chhatkar, Ararara. Ar, that's yeah. all. Then uh, Kazukar. These are the songs. Traditional, now, next time, traditional, yeah, traditional next I have two two more topics in mind. Traditional songs. Yeah. And really? because of traditional song, now more people started contacting me. Like, we want to uh, show like how you do. Like, Shat Karanje, Mashe Karanje. Like, we want those type of I songs. See. So, I started getting more reviews or like... How reviews. long does it take you to uh, write and compose a song with it lyrics and music? It depends on the topic. Now, see, Mashe Karanje, I didn't know anything. I only know they are making Mashe. I had that in mind. Mashe Karanje, 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 But I didn't know what they were I went there, he said like, this is Kovari, this is Don. Kup science sir, Tito. Science sir. Go on, then uh, what is this? Uh, speak on. That, mm -hmm. that those words I learned from them, the Vashekar. Speak on is something like this, like there's one when they joints, joints, like a slopey type. I of the see. Hall. Speak on, party, adbar. Adbar is half of the coconut. I you see. Keep it on the wall. Adbar. Party is like hollow. You can make only one party of one coconut. Like it is a hollow, like one wasa, and then yeah. it's like a groovy, yeah. groovy thing. Yeah. And the washes. Then Shatkar, even Kazukar, I went hundred times with them, like on the mountain hill. Yeah. Okay, I went so what is this? Like if I miss something in the video, but now lately I started composing, I started doing the music, I only get it done on the computer with the help of my You play musician. instrument or you only sing? I used to play guitar, so I now I'm, I have to, because once you give up the touch, then it's very difficult. Yeah. It's like uh, But is it not dig... necessary that you have to no, play no, 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 it's You could not be a necessary. singer, you could be a composer, no. you could be And a... now the main thing is, I'm composing. I'm uh, shooting, I'm editing, and everything is done on wow. the phone. On the phone? In HD. On the phone? Yeah, last three videos are done only really? on the phone. Only on the phone. It's because stuck, I took yeah? it. Yeah, very, but it's very difficult. So small. I yeah. take 10 days to edit a song. Why don't you do it on the desktop or something? Desktop, because uh, I don't know the it's not, it's not. It's not very it's complex. Not, it's yeah, a quite simple. Yeah, it'll be very and good for eyes also. Yeah, right? yeah, good for eyes. Less stress. Less but stress. this is like on the movie we can do. I went to Bombay, I was editing. <laughs> so that is the only advantage. In all these years of work, what were the toughest things you faced? The biggest challenges? Biggest challenges? I, Getting regarding started? My, regarding my singing or... Uh, everything. Everything. All these years. Means in the beginnings, uh, the, I'll tell you the story of how I got into the uh, Alfred Rose singing competition. There was a free, fee of 150 rupees. Wow. Quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of those money. Those days. Those days. And my mother was working. She was getting only 50 rupees. Oh, God. And she was into singing. And my father was paralyzed. Okay. okay so, uh, and I wanted, she knew that. And my mother was a singer, so she used to compose the songs. I see. In the beginning. I oh, see. Oh, a nice song she used to compose. So these are the songs I wanted Very to bring. Uh, I lost her. Uh, now it will be a year. Oh one year, so I wanted to do that song with her. Salset, all Salset, Chinchini. Chinchini. Chinchini, yeah. So Alfred, she gave me that, collected and gave me that 150 rupees. I see. And I won the first place. Wow. 1,000 and I could not hold my, it was like I brought all my friends and gave a party. <laughs> so they, you got 1,000. But that's 000. a big boost, no? That's yeah, a big that, boost, that was no? a big boost. That was Alfred Rose. Then Alfred Rose also promised he'll give a chance to sing in his upcoming album, The Winners. And I got first places in both comedy as well as uh, solo. Decent. So they said that you cannot give both the prizes to the okay. same person. Okay. So one they kept in the comedy. So I was the winner. Then Alfred was sending me letters. I still have one letter with me. Wow. I'm come to Margaon as promised. I'm giving you a chance to wow. sing in your in my album. So wow. you have to be there. But I said, sir, I'm in my twelfth high secondary. I won't this is early nineties. Early nineties, yeah. Early nineties. So he said, okay. And I lost that chance. After that, Chris Perry organized after my grad. What guys, yeah, they yeah. were the greatest talents <laughs> greatest and they were encouraging others to come up in the field. Yeah, yeah but I was like into my football and all. Even Chris Perry used to call me, no, sir, uh, football. So after playing only, I used to go to Bigar. Now I realize the value of that. Why? He brought me some books, guitar books from uh, abroad. You have to be like this, you have to be like some. One day people will start coming to you and remember this song, Poilo Kiss. 
he wrote the song Pohila Kiss he, and he was going to the washroom and he used to listen to me. Where, since he is not there, I used to do anything. Yeah. Like fun, like, uh, and says, what, my Chamaadi Mata, you are saying all wrong. I didn't know that he is listening to me even from there. So it is a little bit like like what he's portrayed in Natsuya Kumpasar. Yeah. Very yeah. strict, very strict guy, very strict. He, he was very strict. He had a pen, long pen. Okay, he never used to write with that. He only used to hit me with that pen. So that was like that. But one thing is he never charged and uh, only gave me this because I missed all this. Para, natural para, I would say, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the temple. I'm not sure if I'm going to So many jokes, like uh, very funny. We used to take, uh, I used to take him on the bike, go for it. So now I'll make you popular. He used to catch anyone. Like he used to do this only with me. He used to catch someone. Hello, come here. This is Olava. He's a great singer. Then he used to move. Nobody, when nobody is there, he used to do that. Yeah, I see. So all the secrets. I see. Like, I see. <laughs> because I was with him for the last few years when he was. I see. Okay, so every time he's done, we did an album. Otherwise, that album, even Sinari, he was hesitating to produce that album. Five songs for a new singer. Oh my God. Now, Sinari produced it. Sinari produced that last album. And then mm -hmm. now Sinari loves me. Like he knows that what Chris Perry. Uh, did was right. What is the road ahead for Konkani music today? I think the originals, there are so many original songs which are coming, but nothing remains like Chris Perry. Nobody's singing. Suppose if I compose a song, it comes in the market. Yeah. But people are not singing that song like yeah. Chris Perry's songs. Chris has remained, no, it has yeah, remained for some It remained, but everybody's singing. See how many years. Is it because there are too much? There's too much happening? Many, see, that time what used to happen, according to I used to listen to all the songs on the radio. Yeah. Even when my album came, it was the last. So I am like lucky to see the cassette, CD, pen drive. This transition. Yeah. Okay, so cassette was my last cassette was like. Uh, just at that era you came. That in. era, yeah, just uh, transition. Uh, cassette, it was like uh, Poyla Kiss, Chris Paris. After yeah. that, we did Kor Kantar. Both were cassettes. And after that, CD. it switched all CDs. So I was like, like it was, and, uh, Chris Perry told me one thing. Like, he made me sing the words clearly. Yeah. Like the diction. I see. He made me sing, and uh, he made me sing and bring one cassette. I brought a cassette, cassette player. And he played the song, what I did, practiced. He played, and then he stopped. He rewind. You know why I rewind the cassette? Because I did not understand what you sang. That word. That means your diction is not proper. So wow. <laughs> then I realized. Wow. Like people should, uh, nice, they should say. It's very nice. So for that, the word should be clear. So now my words are very clear because of Chris Perry. He showed me that trick. How do the words clear? Like 